I'm in my car again. Ah, I just realized I have to go to FedEx. Damn, I gotta go to FedEx. So there was nothing at the thrifts today. Hold up. But, you like my big old hand right there? Oh, oh, oh. There's nothing at the thrifts today, but I thought, um, a ghost story? This sucks. I was so close to FedEx too, and I forgot. Cause I dropped off my post office. Our packages. Uh, let's go to FedEx. Anyways, um, it's a hot sunny day out here in Cali. I don't understand why. But um, I'm a little red. Sun burns me pretty fast. Anyways, um, so. Hold on. Alright, so I thought I'd do a quick what sold video. I'll pop up the little screenshots later. So what we sold in the month so far. Kind of like odd sales I didn't think would have sold so quickly. Um, if I can remember correctly, the titles to these, because this is kind of a spur of the moment video, guys. So it was a timing light, like a gun timing light that sold within like a few, probably an hour or two after listed. I priced it right, I think. Um, I bought it for like two bucks at a garage sale. I listed it and it sold within an hour or two um, for 30 bucks and I'll put it up here somewhere. And um, yeah, the sun is really bad for you guys. Another item that sold is a book set. It's an illustrated classics book set that sold for $39.94 free shipping we picked that up for about four bucks um, so good return on that another item that sold today actually was a sony four parts old camera old cameras do sell just make sure you label it like four parts or for for a few did test it this one just looked too beat up but um, i still figured i would test it we bought it a while ago it took forever to sell at a garage sale for five bucks Alright, so back on the road, um, dropped off the FedEx package. That was a Wii console that sold with like a Wii Fit board, um, a couple games for 105 plus shipping. Um, and then the buyer messaged saying they wanted to add the protection plan, which I was like, I'm not offering no plan, but my wife told me it's part of like ebay or something so i let the buyer know they'd have to go to ebay or they should have selected it at the time of purchase or something but she said or he said maybe because i had sent them an offer it didn't allow them to i don't know but i mean it's shipped out they didn't say cancel or nothing so here's hoping they receive it and they're happy with it and nothing happens but we did direct them to ebay so who knows if they did that but Anywho, let's get back to the what sold. So, we sold, uh, let's see, I just had a sale come in, but right away a cancellation. Great. Don't you love those guys? So, another item that sold was a, I think, um, was a remote, a Yamaha remote. This one it took a little longer to sell. We sat on it, but... I mean, it's easy to store. It sold for 18 free ship. Um, that one we got like in a bundle, so we probably have like 50 cents into that remote. Um, it's actually in a video we posted a while back about how to test remotes without the units. Um, so check it out. Um, I'll put the description or the link here somewhere if I figure out how to do that. So some other items that sold was this vintage military vest. I believe it sold for 36 free shipping. Um, was a vintage camel hat. That one we got at an estate sale, or they call it an estate sale, but it's some ladies that constantly do yard sales. But um, 
we bought it, we have about a quarter or 50 cents into that hat. It sold for 28. Another item was, um, two items actually. These were from my, my closet, or at least a box full of my stuff. Um, just clothing pieces that I obviously don't wear no more. It's just been sitting in a box, um, stored away. Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy still sells pretty well. Um, I wouldn't like buy it unless just look at look up the comps because I have noticed that there is some like sweaters, some zip up sweaters that go for some pretty good money of Ed Hardy. Um, but did you wear Ed Hardy back in the day? Um, yeah, it's this pink Ed Hardy T-shirt sold right away within a couple hours or the same day for sure um, for twenty three. And that was out of my closet. Um, another item that sold from my closet was Fox. Fox Racing. Oh, I feel like I said the wrong thing. Fox Racing um, shirts sell pretty well. I wouldn't pick them up, like I said, unless they're dirt cheap. Just look them up. Um, this one was from my closet, too. And I can't remember what this one sold for, but I'll put the comp up here. Another item that sold, this one sold fairly quickly. I want to say it sold within a week of having it listed for $21. Um, I believe I sent an offer out and they took it. And we have $6.99 into this shirt. Another item that sold is this Panasonic forehead hi fi, like VHS. Um, we had these sitting in our garage. We picked them up a while ago, um, but we just never got around to testing or listing them. And one day my wife was. She's like, I had enough. Let's test all these. And it sold within a day or two. So list your stuff, guys. And it sold for, I believe it was 58 free shipping. Um, and we have about, I was like, dip up in there. Um, we have about three to five dollars into that unit. Another item that sold fairly quickly was another media item. I love picking up media this body like building type exercises they went international too so that's pretty cool it sold for um, I believe it was 18 free shipping another item that sold is the Samsung lens we paid $12.99 at a thrift store for it and it sold fairly quickly as well for 200 um, it was new so I listed it as new open box Another item that sold is sh these shorts, these Patagonia shorts. My wife found these at a thrift for six bucks, and they sold within a couple of days of li being listed for 38 free ship. So that's that's really good. Short season is coming, guys. Another item that sold was this FUBU button-up shirt. I had it listed for 40. A buyer reached out to me and asked if I would do 35, and of course. You know, that's a definite reasonable offer. So I shot him an offer of 35 He accepted. Home now, but another clothing piece I wanted to kind of share with you guys is this Wills & Co. vintage, like, sweatshirt sweater. Um, it almost has, like, a Coogee style Bill Cosby look. I had a lot of interest as soon as I listed it. Um, I've never heard of that brand. I don't know if you guys know the brand. Keep an eye out for it. But... So it sold for $46.50, I believe it was. Another item is this Bose, um, what do you call it, like the cable cord, the power cord. Um, we got this Bose for free at a garage sale. They, we asked how much it was, but I guess they felt bad that they thought it didn't work and they just gave it to us, um, which they were right, it didn't work. But we just sold the cord and it sold within like two days for $25 free shipping. So look out for cords and cables of big name brands and you can still sell them. Another item that sold for us um, was these shoes, Hoka 1-1. We paid $8 for these, excellent price. And they sold fairly quickly and we priced them high because they were so clean and just had a great hot, light, whatever pink look to them. And they sold for 90 free shipping. Media item is this Legends of Dragoon. I think I'm saying that correctly. It's a CD. Um, comps are crazy on this one. I think they were in the 40s maybe for a CD. I paid $1.99 for it. Um, and it sold within a few hours the same day 
for $22 free shipping. The item that sold was this Kim Possible doll. I found it at a thrift for 6 bucks. I almost left it. Um, I don't know why. I grabbed it and I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> um, but then I started looking it up and I don't know why I still wanted to leave it. But then something told me just take it. Um, the comps were looking great on it. And it literally sold within a day or two. And I already had, I got like a watcher right away. I had it, I listed it for 60. Um, and then the second day, I think, or the second watcher I had, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to shoot an offer to get this out. I shot an offer for 55. They took it. They were so happy. They even privately messaged me saying thank you. They left me a great positive uh, feedback. So that was a cool sale. Look out for Kim Possible dolls. I guess it's rare. I never watched that show growing up or anything, but my wife was telling me it was a good show I guess I don't know but I guess there's diehard fans that still collect Kim Possible stuff Road King CB radio we've never picked one up I found it at Salvation Army we paid $13.50 I used my coupon on that one and um, it sold fairly quickly um, within the same month maybe two weeks of it being listed maybe um, for a hundred free ship thanks guys thanks for watching like share and subscribe comment below if you've sold any of these um yeah thanks guys